Hello everybody! In this video I will show to you how to make a nickel iron battery, also very well known like Edison battery. Uh, this battery is made from nickel which is the positive electrode and iron which is the negative electrode. Uh, these two electrodes uh, are put in some electrolyte which is 6 molar of potassium hydroxide and voila you have some Edison battery. So nickel iron battery have lowest energy density from all batteries. So the energy density of this battery is around 20 watt hours per kilogram and yeah it's not a lot but uh, this one have others good properties like the all chemistry in this battery is really really stable is very very robust design and also the cycle life is really 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 great so that's why is nickel iron battery uh, use it also in some uh, uh, energy storage applications because of his cycle life which is really really good also you can discharge and overcharge this battery with no damaging I mean you will get really hard time uh, to damage this cell so and now how to make this type of battery so when I say that the nickel iron battery is made from nickel which is the positive electrode and iron which is the negative electrode uh, so in basic this is not so simple because if you use some nickel and iron the capacity of this battery will not be really good to increase the capacity of this battery uh, you need some iron powder and also nickel oxy hydroxide active material for the positive electrode and now um, how to make this one so the negative electrode for this type of battery I made already so here I have the negative electrode uh, which is in basic some stainless steel current collector and here I have my negative active material so the negative active material is made from iron powder uh, 1 gram of iron powder 0 0.2 grams of uh, carbon black and also 0 0.2 grams of binder uh, so like I said 1 gram of iron powder uh, 0.2 grams of carbon black also 0 to point, uh, 0 0.2 grams of uh, the binder and also water so when you make this some kind of pasta uh, you put it on this stainless steel mesh when you put this active material uh, on stainless steel you wait that active uh, this active material will be dry and in the end you need to press the electrode because you need to make really really good contact between active material and the current collector and you need to press really really hard when you press this electrode you leave it for I don't know half of hour one hour something like this and yeah, this is the negative electrode for uh, nickel iron battery. Uh, and now you need also the positive electrode. So the positive electrode, which is made from uh, nickel current collector and uh, the active material is some uh, nickel oxy hydroxide. This material you can find in some uh, other battery types like nickel metal hydrate batteries and here I have some piece I just put some nickel metal hydrate battery uh, apart and I collect the positive electrode 
this one works really really good but if you want you can also make uh, the positive electrode by yourself and now I will make a battery so like I said I have the negative electrode here uh, I made this from iron powder really fine iron powder uh, together with some carbon black and a binder for the positive electrode uh, I will not experiment a lot uh, I will just use some commercial available nickel oxy hydroxide which you can find in some uh, nickel metal hydrate batteries but now you need to also make some electrolyte here I have um, 50 milliliters of water uh, into this 50 milliliters of water I will add 15 grams of potassium hydroxide Oops. So when you put uh, nickel hydroxide into the water like I do, uh, the reaction, I mean the water will be really hot. So, be careful, or you add uh, potassium hydroxide really slowly into the water. Okay, that's it. And here I have this uh, cell so here uh, is the positive electrode which is made uh, from nickel oxy hydroxide on some nickel foam and here I have this negative electrode which is made from iron powder uh, on stainless steel right now I have this battery connected to my electronic load uh, I will discharge this battery with 20 milliamps and we will see what we will get out from some homemade uh, nickel iron battery so I will start the electronic load uh, so I will discharge this battery on 20 milliamps load and we will see what we will get out from this homemade battery so guys this is the end uh, the runtime was almost 11, uh, 12 minutes on 20 million slot uh, for this small battery is this quite awesome uh, but yeah you, you can improve this battery because this battery is still awesome uh, you have some room for improvement and yeah yeah you see also the voltage oh you cannot see the voltage now you see the voltage the voltage goes up to 1.3 volts uh, the standard voltage of this cell is 1.2 uh, Winout load is 1.4 Also, you can design a 
so in this cell I use uh, nickel oxy hydroxide for the positive electrode and uh, iron powder for the negative electrode but you can also make uh, this battery uh, if you made uh, the positive electrode from nickel hydroxide but if you use nickel hydroxide for the positive electrode then you also need to use some iron oxide for the negative electrode so this way you can also make this battery but first thing what you need to do uh, you need to charge the cell because when you charge uh, this type of battery with this setup uh, then uh, then the positive electrode will form into nickel oxy hydroxide uh, and yeah the negative electrode will transform from uh, nickel ox uh, I mean fer uh, iron oxide to iron yeah that's it so guys yeah that's it uh, we see us in the next video and bye